Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we're gonna take a look at working with Dockers. Dockers are an integral part of the CorelDRAW workspace and they provide access to many of the tools and functions in CorelDRAW and you can also move them, reposition them and customize your workspace with them. We'll start by taking a look at how we can get to and open the dockers. We can go up into the menu, go to window, left click, come down to dockers and go to any docker that you want to open left click on that and that'll open my object properties docker. I can also come down here into the nested dockers and I can left click and I'll be able to open dockers from here and I could go here to the object manager click and that'll open from there. So that's how we can open the dockers. I'm going to go back to the object properties docker. I'll hover over the tab. When I left click that'll be the active tab and the active docker. Now, the Docker has a title bar. It has a scroll mode or option. Now, right now, this is set up so that I can click between the fill and the transparency options for the object properties. But if I expand the scroll, the fill and the transparency will be available in the scroll mode of the Docker. I can close the Dockers here. This is expanding collapse. If I click this, it'll collapse the dockers. If I want to open them back up, I just go to the tab of the docker I would want to open, left click and that will open that docker. This is the active docker tab. This is an inactive docker tab. Now, if I want to move my dockers around in the docker nest, I can left click, hold down and start to move them. You see the little black line appear. That's where the docker would go between those two dockers. Move this up to here. Bring this up to here and you see the black line. Now if I release there, that tab will be moved to that position in the nest of dockers here. Now let's say I want to customize my workspace for the dockers. And I want to take my object properties docker and bring that over here to the left. So I can work with the object properties while I'm working with other dockers. So I could have two dockers open at the same time. I can left click on that docker. It will become the active docker if it isn't. Hold down, pull out, and I'll have just that docker. And you can see I've pulled that out of the nest of dockers. Now I don't want to grab the title bar because if I left click and grab the title bar, I'll move the entire docker nest. From the title bar, I can left click, hold down, bring that back over and release that right there. And I'll restore that to the right. Now I can go with the tab, left click and hold to move. Or up from the title bar, left click, hold down and move. And bring this over here to the left until I see that gray area. And I know that's where the docker is going to be. So that'll be my object properties docker now set up on the left hand side of my workspace because I released my left mouse button. Then I can collapse that here and then I could go click on the tab to open it and collapse it and the same over here. Collapse open. So now you know how the dockers work and you'll be able to easily customize your workspace based on how you'd like to have them set up and where you'd like to have your dockers. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.